In an anonymously laced report Friday, the New York Times alleges President Trump ignored intelligence reports of Russian-paid Taliban militants who set out to kill U.S. troops. To this, the White House slammed the New York Times for false reporting. There's no consensus within the intelligence community, and I would also note um, that for those of you that are always taking the New York Times at their word, they erroneously reported that the president was briefed on this. He was not briefed on this, and neither was the vice president. The director of national intelligence confirmed the president was never briefed on the matter because reports were inconsistent with verified Taliban practices. Saber Nasiri, an Afghani subject matter expert and interpreter for U.S. coalition forces against the Taliban, tells One American News, while it is possible a deal was made between Moscow and the Taliban against U.S. forces, there's no telling for certain. And the White House was right to not take such a deal seriously in the end, because the Taliban is fooling everyone. They are playing, they have two faces, and they are playing under table, on the table. There is no guarantee, no one will guarantee the Taliban will stunt on their words. So they say something and they will play something else. Adding to the speculation, a deal was made between Moscow and the Taliban. In 2019, Taliban leadership traveled to Moscow for several meetings. Nasiri says this was highly unusual. It is unusual, and I think there is a big connection between Taliban and Moscow. A connection made possible by former Afghani President Hamid Karzai and Pakistan. Mr. Hamid Karzai went to uh, Moscow many times. You know, the Taliban was too weak, very weak. Who made Taliban powerful? Hamid Karzai. These Moscow rendezvous, says Nasiri, were coordinated by Pakistan and Karzai. Nasiri says the Pakistani role in all this is the real scandal, not an unverified agreement pushed by New York Times. Pakistani, they said we are friends for United States, but they are not. Nasiri warns, even if it were true Moscow gave the Taliban a bounty for American forces, Taliban agreements should be highly suspect and urges America to abandon negotiating with the Taliban at all and to ignore the advice of Pakistan on this front. Taliban is weak. America should treat it as such. We are not supposed to negotiate or have peace with beast. Taliban, they are beasts, they are animals, they are not, they will never have uh, friendship with United States or with any countries. Maybe they have under table connection with uh, uh, Russia. Of course, uh, uh, Mr. Hamid Karzai, that he had many trips to uh, Moscow in 2019, right. and, uh, and they uh, connect Taliban with uh, Russia, with Moscow. Why? Because the Taliban were not uh, strong, were weak. Nasiri says the U.S. needs to recognize local Afghani armed forces instead. Such a move would help bring a final end to the Taliban. Chanel Rian, One American News, Washington.